Guys, you need to watch this. Hold, just hold on one second. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm actually gonna give away one of these dog hams. This doesn't taste so good. You like those, bro? I don't like dog treats. Stay tuned for the deets on the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing on one of these amazing pet cameras. What's the most stressful thing that you guys train in your dog? I know what like, the most stressful thing was for me to train in him, but what's the matter? You tasting that dog treat? I gave you one. I know, you can have more in a minute. What's the most stressful thing that you guys had to train in your dog? I absolutely know what the most stressful thing was for me and Kara, but I'm curious, before I let you know, what's the most stressful thing for you? Go on, comment it down below. We're waiting. What's up, you beautiful 213,000 people? Man, that sounds incredible to be able to say that, bro. 213,000 amazing people in this community. Your pa? Pa tastes good? The most stressful thing for Kara and myself was letting our Kane Corso free roam the house. And it was so stressful because of the fact that we don't have control because we're not home. So it's almost like fear of the unknown. You don't know what's going on. You're afraid your dog may be getting into something, therefore not only destroying your property, but even more important, doing damage to themselves eating something they shouldn't be. That was extremely stressful for us. So I wanted to share with you guys steps we took to let Bruce Wayne free roam the house. That way we're setting you guys up for success if you guys happen to follow any of our steps. Remember, we're not a dog trainer. We're just dog owners like you guys. Trying to make your life with your dog as beautiful and wonderful as it can possibly be. Before getting into the video, I wanna thank Yuffie Pet for sponsoring this video by sending me this amazing pet camera. And I'm gonna share with you guys in this video how you can use this amazing tool to help you with letting your dog free roam the house. The Yuffie Pet dog camera actually rotates 270 degrees and it has dog tracking. So I can literally hit the tracker and if Bruce Wayne is walking around, the camera will actually follow him. I was actually blown away with how good the video quality was. I was not expecting that at all. And I'm actually blown away with how much fun I've been having this with Bruce. We got the mailman here. Just give me a second. I've been having an absolute blast using this camera with him. Not only does it rotate 270 degrees, I can talk through it like if I'm not home, I can check up on Bruce and actually talk to him through the speakers on here. I can throw dog treats to him as I showed you in that opening clip example. The dog treats do not get stuck. It's, you pull this up and you can stuff it with dog treats. Want one, bro? Get Bruce Wayne a dog treat. So not only can I speak to Bruce through this, I can hear him because it's got two-way audio. If he starts barking or anything, the camera will alert me. I can hear what's going on in the house. So it actually makes a really good security cam with a security dog. You can toss treats with it, and it has actually three different distances you can toss. It's so fun to use. There's a night vision mode, so when it gets dark, you can still see everything that's going on in the room. There's a free doggy diary where it puts together videos for you at the end of the day of your dog's activities and even puts music on it. Like, they thought of everything with this thing. Highly, highly, highly recommend these. Thank you, Yuffie, for not only sponsoring this video, but giving one of these away to one of you lucky viewers. Yes, they're going to let me give one of these away to you guys. All you have to do is go over to my Instagram account, at JasonCorey411. You need to be following me there. You need to be following Yuffie Official on Instagram. On the picture, on the giveaway picture, all I need you guys to do is make a comment and tag a friend. So make a comment, and in that comment, you have to tag a friend as well. And then you're gonna be entered to win one of these free cameras. Winners will be chosen at random. You can enter as many times as you guys want. Only one comment and tag per entry. Meaning if you wanna enter more than once, you have to make a separate comment and tag a different person. But it's unlimited, guys. Rack up them comments to increase your chances to win. Comment every single day so it's spread out throughout. Bruce Wayne and myself are gonna pick those at random and there's gonna be one lucky winner who's going to be able to enjoy one of these cameras as well. Now, Yuffie is giving you guys $80 off one of these cameras. I have the link in the discount code down below in the description box. These would make an amazing Christmas gift for your pets, guys. Absolutely love this thing. I'm actually using it way more than I thought I would. That's right, Bruce. These fine folks can get $80 off. That's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal for Christmas. So now on to how I got Bruce Wayne able to free roam the house, worry-free. He's never crated anymore. We don't even have our crate put together anymore. It free roams all day long, all night. He has free roam of the house, and it 
is such a blessing to be able to have him at this point. We didn't even attempt to let Bruce Wayne free roam the house until he was, how old were you, bro? 15, 17 months, somewhere in that time frame. Remember guys, it's not a race. There's no timeline to this. Some dogs are going to be able to free roam much earlier, some even later than 15, 16 months. One of my biggest tips for you guys is don't rush it. You want a success, you don't want any setbacks with this. I feel like one of the most important steps was building that relationship boundary where Bruce Wayne knew that Kara and I were his leaders. We were above him in the pack. So he had to respect his boundaries in the house because without that, I feel like we would have just been setting ourselves up for failure and setbacks. And this whole process would have taken even longer than it already took. With that first step also came teaching Bruce Wayne house manners. House manners to me are the dog's not allowed to run around in the house and jump everywhere. He has a set place where he can play. That way he's not bumping into things, knocking things over. He knows what he cannot get into. He can't just pick up a Christmas decoration and start shaking around. He can't just go up and pick up her socks and start chewing on them. He's very respectful in the house. No way I would have even started this process unless he had that respect for Kara, myself, and our entire house. Teaching house manners is absolutely pivotal if you want your dog to be able to free roam the house. Not only for the safety of your property, more importantly, for the safety of your dog. I'm sure you guys have heard horror stories of dogs ingesting socks, for example. It can actually kill your dog. Just be very mindful that when you don't have eyes on your dog, they could get into something that could potentially kill them. And think about it like this. If Bruce Wayne was already getting into things with me home, with me and Kara home and he's being mischievous, he's getting into things, what do you think he's gonna do when we're not having eyes on him? He'd probably tear apart this entire couch. The next step came Bruce Wayne's obedience. Karen and myself wanted Bruce Wayne's obedience down 100 before we attempted to leave him free roaming in the house when we left. All of his basic obedience, his sit, his stay, his prolonged stay, does he have the mental focus for me to put him on a stay and him literally sit there for 30 minutes without moving? Does he have a perfect recall off leash? Can he be 300 yards away from me? I yell his name and he turns around and comes back to me. That's what perfect obedience in my mind is. I don't need my dog to be able to do any sorts of tricks or anything like that. I just want that level of communication where he understands what I want and he follows what I want. So once Kara and myself had all of those things in place, which is why we waited to 15 to 17 months, now was when we wanted to start the process of letting him free roam the house. What good's a guard dog if your dog can't guard the house? What good's a guard dog if somebody breaks in the middle of the night and he's crated, or if somebody breaks in and he's crated when we're not here, he, he can't scare anyone off. We treated this situation with extreme delicacy and care. We weren't in a rush. As much as we wanted him to be able to free roam the house, so yes, and our mind was like, well, why can't he just be there right now? We were smart enough to understand that this process shouldn't be rushed. We shouldn't push him past what he's actually capable of doing right now. So what we did was we would first just leave the house for three minutes, but we wouldn't just walk out the door. I would let Bruce Wayne know I was leaving. I would like, you know, just pet him, give him a kiss on his head. I wouldn't make a big production about it at all. You know, just a simple, all right, buddy, see you later. And then not even look back, just walk out the door. But I wouldn't just walk out the door and actually get in the car so he heard the garage door open, he heard the car start, and he would see us drive off. We would just drive down the road for a minute and a half, turn around, and drive back. So literally, he was just home alone for three minutes. We would do that, you know, every single day for a few days, and then we'd expand it to five minutes. And then we would slowly expand it to 10 minutes. I think you guys understand where I'm getting. We would literally take very small time increments and just slowly increase them over time. And then those five, 10 minute trips would turn into a quick trip to the grocery store. That quick trip to a grocery store, since he was still not getting anything, he still seemed absolutely fine when we got home, it would turn into a movie date with me and Kara. So now we're gone a couple hours. Now during this time, I feel like we also did something very pivotal in helping expand his confidence in being home alone. That was letting him free roam at night. Instead of crating him when he went to bed, we would let him free roam the house. Put a bed next to our bed, that way if he chose to lay on the floor next to us, he could. But ultimately he had free roam the house. We would sleep with the bedroom door open. He basically would just sleep on the couch. I was trying to build up his confidence to just be alone, essentially, without getting into things, 
But if he did get in anything, hopefully, hopefully, this ain't a guarantee, but hopefully it would make enough noise where it would wake Kara or myself up. We could stop whatever he's getting into. Luckily, he didn't get into anything. And I really, really, truly believe that helped in the overall process of when we went to work, not having to create him. So after a couple months of this, I don't quote me in the time frame. I'm just trying to go off memory. It was years ago. Um, two, three months maybe of doing this process very slowly, we decided it was time to let him free roam the house and a full day of work for us. We did so and we had no issues whatsoever. He wasn't getting into things. He wasn't chewing things up. I was very pleased with the whole process. Yes, it took time, but next dog I will do the same thing with. I will make sure it's slow and delicate. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon, right? Now you're probably wondering what Karen and myself would have done if he had a setback. Let's say we got home and he chewed up his Yuffie dog camera, for example. I would basically essentially start from scratch. He'd be crated again for about a week or two. After that, I would start off again, three minute increments, leave the house for three minutes and literally repeat the entire process. Now, our previous dog, our English Bulldog, we we did the same exact thing, but he had one setback where he chewed up a remote control and that's what we did. We started from square one again. We created him for a week and then we started with very small three minute increments, four minute increments, five minute increments. And then after going through that again, he was able to free roam the house. We probably just tried doing that process a little bit too young in his maturity. It was much younger than Bruce Wayne, but English Bulldogs mentally mature much faster than Connie Corsos do. And I also wanna just share some tips with you guys that will assist you in letting your dog free roam the house. Things that you can do to make it easier on your dog. Tip one is, you may find this odd, but feed them a very nutrient rich, healthy diet. Thought process behind that. If you guys are eating junk food all the time, how does it make you feel? It makes you feel like crap. If you're eating highly inflammatory foods, not everyone, but someone like me with Lyme disease, for example, I physically suffer from that. My joints will hurt. General pain throughout my body is much worse. Now, if your dog is eating a lot of processed food, things that could be very inflammatory to them, they could be in some sort of discomfort or pain. When you're in any sort of discomfort or pain, even if you mentally don't think you're stressed, your body is stressed, meaning the dog's gonna be stressed. If the dog's stressed, they're gonna be anxious, which can increase separation anxiety. That can lead to them getting into things because they're anxious or they're in pain. So they may destroy your house, they may eat the couch, they may tear apart the pillows. I really recommend a very healthy diet. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, I know you're a raw feeder, Jason, um, but I don't wanna feed raw, can you tell me a good kibble? I can't, I'm not the guy to ask. No shade towards kibble feeders, I fed all my other dogs kibble. Your dog can still live a very long life, but I'm not going to recommend a kibble when I just honestly don't feel kibble's a very healthy diet. Um, so unfortunately you guys are on your own to research that one. If you guys want more info on a raw diet, Will from Fenner and myself have a raw diet masterclass which will teach you everything you need to know to feed your dog a healthy raw diet so they're not missing any nutrients which could be detrimental to their health. It teaches you how to transition your dog to raw. Everything you need to know, check out the link in the description for that. I was just talking to someone at a coffee shop where we just had Bruce and it, there were actually, she was a raw feeder as well. And we we're both discussing how much happier the dog seemed once we transitioned to them the raw. Happy and healthy dog is a wonderful dog that you want in your life, right bro? Something like the Yuffie Pet Cam can go very, very long in helping you let your dog free roam the house. Just mentally having this on hand where you can check in on your dog so you know they're not get getting into anything can go so far for your own mentals and your own stress. And think about it, if you're stressed, you're releasing cortisol. Your dog's going to be able to smell the pheromones you're releasing, meaning your dog's going to get stressed out from your stress. So one of these things can help reduce your own stress. Not only that, if your dog does get in anything, you can do two things. You can either talk through it, talk to the dog through it to distract them if they're about to get into something because this camera will alert you if the dog starts barking. Um, you can set it to alert you when the dog moves. So if the dog's about to get into something, you can either talk to them through the speaker or you can literally just push a button where it records your own voice and gives the dog a command. And you can throw them a treat 
So let's say they're seeming like they're getting anxious, a little bit nervous. Call them over, talk to them, throw them a treat. Distract them from whatever's going on because unfortunately you can't correct their bad behavior because you're not home. I'm not someone who's a big believer in when your dog's doing something they shouldn't be to just distract them because distracting them isn't teaching them right from wrong. Unfortunately, when you're not home, you cannot correct them. So that's when I would use a distraction method to try to keep them out of trouble as best as possible. Super important is make sure your dog gets plenty of physical exercise before you leave the house. Take them on a long walk, play fetch with them. Anything that your dog loves to do, do it. Get that burst of energy out before you leave the house in the morning. Even more important, make sure you get that mental energy out of them. Mental exercise goes way farther than physical exercise, guys, when it comes to calming your dog down, letting them burn off energy. Make sure you give them a job to do. Make sure you're fully exercising their brain because it will tire them more out. And a tired dog is a happy dog and you want your dog tired before you leave them for eight hours a day. You can also leave them a toy, but a toy that is going to work their mentals, right? So for example, that Fenrir hammer you've seen Bruce Wayne use, you can actually stuff that. There's, it's hollowed out. So not only is it like a very hard thing for them to chew through, which is gonna be very durable and last you guys a long time, but you can also stuff it with food. So maybe you stuff it with some a bunch of food and then you freeze it overnight. That way they have to really work to get that food out. And when they're working, they're gonna be thinking. And when they're thinking, it's going to tire them out. So they're mentally exercising their brain, trying to figure out how to get this food out. They're physically using their jaw, getting out physical exercise. That can also help set you guys up for success so your dog doesn't have any failures. You get home to a happy, healthy dog. Your house is in order. They didn't get in anything. They kept out all the burglars and everything was good. I hope these tips helped you guys out to just let you guys have a little bit more confidence when you're training your dog to be home alone, just like Kevin McAllister. If you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you would join the community of 213,000 people we have right now. Let's help grow the community even bigger, guys. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, ring the ding a so you miss any of the newest videos on Kane Corsos or Bruce Wayne. Everything I'm associated with, guys, linked in the description down below. Training courses, ebooks, merch, this camera. Remember, $80 off, it would make an amazing Christmas gift for someone that's a pet lover. It would make an amazing Christmas gift for your pet in itself. And actually, I'm gonna go play with this right now with Bruce Wayne. All right, guys, until next time, Bruce Wayne and myself, we'll see you later. Thank you so much. Peace. I'm gonna give Bruce Wayne a treat right now. about to shoot a video with Bruce Wayne and these two are like Christmas cuddling. And now he is just killing his heel off leash. Right bro? Good job Bruce Wayne. Good job. Amazing training courses guys. I'm going to link it here. Just click that link. You can see how I train this guy. Use the same exact philosophies of how I trained him and you can get your dog to uh, be this awesome off leash as well.